Welcome to week four. This week, our main topic will be files. You can store data into files and you can read data again from files. So why are they needed? Actually, all the data we have used so far in our programs is lost, is forgotten once the software is stopped or when the computer is stopped. So the next time you start your computer, you start your program, you have to re-enter all the data. And of course, in the long run, that limits the value of computers very much. To have this data later on, to store it permanently, even when the program is closed and when the computer is shut down, that's what files are for. You can store data in files, you can write data into files, and store them on the computer. And later on, days later, when you have maybe shut down the computer several times and started it again, you can reopen the file and you can then read the data which you have stored there months before. Actually, what is a file? One definition could be that a file contains a logically related data that is, this data is sequentially ordered, that it's permanently stored, which makes it important for us, and that you can identify it by a name. Showtime again. Open your notebooks and follow up what I'm doing there and showing in detail in the notebook. So again, what is a file? Yeah, you know, Word files, Excel files, and so on and so on. And you know, this definition, which I have just already um, gone through, and which we have actually taken from Wikipedia. If you save an email as a text file, then you can see these aspects we just talked about. The text of the email is logically coherent. It all refers to one subject. It's all part of the email. The text itself is sequential. This text contains lines. These lines contain words and each word contains letters and all of them are ordered sequentially. If you have stored this text file dot text on your computer, then it's simply stored there permanently. So in a week's time, it should still, still be available. And finally, you have given this file a unique name where you can find it later on. So basically, these things are not that complicated. Why are files necessary? Again, all the data we have entered so far is lost. So if I go through it yeah, and I enter a name, um, Jacob Stefan, Phone number one, two, three, four, five, age, uh, still 95. Then I have all this data complete, but at the same time, it's lost. It's latest, when I close this notebook, it's gone and forgotten. And this is something we would like to change today. We would like to change during this week. So in this unit, you should have learned that files are the classic medium for storing data permanently on your computer.